Hello, welcome to today's edition of City News Daily on City TV with me, Pale Akanya Ofori. Coming up today, Ghana Health Service calls for calm among residents in the Ashanti region following an outbreak of African swine fever in three districts in that region. Stay with us, we have the details on the story and others. The Ghana Health Service has called for calm among residents of the Ashanti region following an outbreak of African swine fever in three districts in that region. 300 pigs have been killed by authorities in the wake of the outbreak. The situation has caused panic among consumers of pork in that region as the Veterinary Service Department works to bring the situation under control. Well, last year, the disease resulted in the killing of some 6,000 pigs. Speaking to City News Daily, the head of disease surveillance at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Franklin Isia Dubekwe, said humans cannot be affected by the outbreak. Uh, let's stay with the story because the Veterinary Services Department is reporting of a suspected outbreak of African swine fever at some piggeries in the greater Accra region. Speaking to City News Daily, the head of public health at the Veterinary Services, Dr. Bashiru Kikimoto, allayed any fears because he says the disease is being contained. Currently, with the epidemiological data that we have gotten, there are some three districts in Ashanti region affected most, and uh, some seemingly reported suspected cases in Greater Accra region. So we in the veterinary have taken measures to make sure that it doesn't spread to other areas which are not yet affected. Normally, the outbreak focal point, uh, there will be some uh, public health intervention measures to make sure it does not spread from one farm to another. It doesn't move from one district to another. So. The first thing is to ban the movement of pigs from one district to another and then also to make sure that we enhance biosecurity measures uh, because that is one of the main things which most farmers don't take into consideration. And then with veterinary pumping out the affected farms. For this disease, when it, there's an outbreak, whether the pig is affected or not, all those pigs on that farm have to be slaughtered. Uh, that is sanitary slaughter and then disposed because we don't want the meat to be taken to other places that will also spread the disease. Let's go to the central region because it appears the new Kotokraba market in Cape Coast will remain closed to traders for a long time. Well, Ghana's former president, John Dramani Maham, inaugurated that edifice in November last year. Our correspondent in that region, Joseph Akon Mensa, visited the market and said it has since remained unoccupied. George Justice Arthur, who is the Secretary of the Concerned Assembly Members of the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly, called on government to find a solution uh, to this issue. From the central region, let's go to the eastern region because a strike by workers of waste management company Zoom Lion has left residents in the eastern regional capital, Kofudia, engulfed in their own filth. The workers embarked on a sit-down strike. They say they are not being treated fairly by their supervisors and they have not been paid for the past eight months. Our correspondent Ni Amati Kaneko reports that rubbish has been heaped in various parts of the municipality. Now, the Speaker of Parliament, Professor Michael Kwe, has tasked the leadership of Parliament to, within a week, come up with a practical approach towards dealing with bribery allegations involving parliamentary committee sittings outside Accra. The directive follows recent allegations that the National Lottery Authority, that's the NLA, paid over 150,000 Ghana cities to facilitate the passage of a bill last year. Following agitations from some MPs on the floor today on this matter, the speaker said it is an opportunity to take a holistic look at the relationship between committees of parliament and other bodies that have legislative concerns. And that's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pierre Akanyo. For a visit tv.cityfmonline.com. For more news, you can also visit our website, cityfmonline.com. We have more stories there. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1024 
331999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.